Hello out there, all my crafty friends. Uh, I've been trying to get this video done for a while, um, and it just, <laughs> January was like, oh, I'm glad January's over. Anyway, but this is a, a huge shout out to Renee over at GT Designs. I ordered two of her farmhouse kits that she put together um, before she ever posted videos of all of them, so I don't know that she had videos of her massive kits, y'all, but Oh my gosh, Renee, you're just, you just rock when it comes to these kits. So I bought two, and uh, this one has the 1981 Better Homes and Gardens um, five ring binder, and it is in excellent condition. And um, this one, I already have plans for this for a journal for a customer. And uh, so that came with it. And then all this, look at, look at this massive amount of fabric, y'all. It's just crazy. So I'm gonna real quickly flip through that and then, you know, grab a snack. <laughs> um, and then this is the rest of the goodies that came in this kit. Now, I got two kits from her and um, they're, they're very similar and stuff. Like some of the fabrics are the same, some are different. Um, and the other, the other book, was this older one that, you know, needs a little bit of love. The spine's coming apart here, but I've got plans for this one too. And the pages, um, the tabs are in pretty good shape, but some of the pages are worn, but some of it's real, you know, some of it's really good. It's really cool. Um, this one's much older. I think uh, this one was like 1965, um, but I love it too. And this, this one's gonna be fun. Um, I think I'm gonna do something and leave this here, but you know, repair the spine and maybe, I don't know, I've got plans for this one too. So this was the other one with this mound of fabric. I mean, look at this y'all, it's just, it's incredible and so cool. I mean, I will be playing with this for a long, long time. And another package, another huge package of goodies. So, um, Renee, these are just, I just cannot say enough about them. Just the, the bang for the buck is just incredible. But um, I'll try to be real quick. So she sent just some little scraps, which would be fun for tabs and tags and even some um, collaging and layering, some feed sack. I love this one. I love the blue. Some feed sack pieces. Um, just little, I love playing with the little bits. I think sometimes for me, which now don't get me wrong, I like having the bigger pieces too to cover journals and things like that, but um, sometimes the little scraps are just more fun. It forces you to be a little bit more creative, but all these are vintage. Um, this is really neat. I love this red and it's like a texture. It has a texture to it. She gave me a large piece of that. To be cute for pockets, and then there's this. Um, Y'all remember these colors? This is some, this almost feels like a polyester, sort of, but really cool. I love any kind of um, plaid or gingham. I love this green, it's gonna be fun. And you know, these I there's so many things I can use this stuff in. This is like a this is like a linen, like a pink linen. Um, so you know, this won't, this won't all go into, you know, farmhouse or Western style books that I have planned, but, uh, um, you know, you know me and the kids books and the baby books and stuff like that would be really pretty. Those would be really pretty in a little girl, a little girl book, a uh, piece of quilt, large piece of quilt here. Really, really cool. I love, I'm loving the quilt stuff lately. I've got some projects that I'm working on now with some quilt pieces. The stripe, that'll go get in my, one of my Western books. Another piece of quilt. And I love the res, I love this one. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. I just love the variety. Um, the variety of things that she collects and, and she everything that she does and I know a lot of you know her but those of you that don't really need to go check her out because 
she, you know, she is a, she's a scavenger man. And she, um, <laughs> and I mean that in a loving way. That's a, she's a good scavenger. Um, she finds the really, you know, she finds the bargains, you know, and she's, uh, she's got stuff that she's collecting from her family. And so you could have pieces that belong to, um, you know, family members, stuff that she's had for a while. I love these. These are some of my faves. Like I, I love the, the gingham type look, the check, the polka dots and stuff. And then look at this one. This looks like it might've been a piece of a, um, a tablecloth or something. I love that. I love the colors. So, so thank you, sweet Renee. I love these kits, girl. And you know how long it'll take me to use this stuff? It's kind of like that Christmas kit I bought from you that one time. I think it took me two years and I probably still have <laughs> some pieces um, of that steel that I haven't used. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? I love this. This I might pull out. Um, I finished that baby girl book that I posted some pictures. I hadn't done a video on that. I might cut a little piece of this in her or make a little pocket with that. It'll go really pretty. Let me set that aside. And the bandana fabric. Love it. I know where that's going to. And uh, I don't know if this was a sheet or a or a tablecloth. This might have been a piece of a sheet. Really pretty. But just, you know, the possibilities with her kits. It's like, you know, she called them farmhouse kits, but you can use so many other things. I love this. This is a sheet, I think. A piece of a sheet. And just a ton of it, y'all. Look at all of it. It's just amazing. I love this one. Look, it's got the chicken. It's got the chickens on it. And the pig and the little barn and the cow. Really, really cute. And that's sort of, that's almost western-y looking to me. That might be cute and patent strong. And then some floral. This is an upholstery fabric. That's really pretty. But look, look at the, um, look at the rooster on that. Love that. That'd be cool. It's a big pocket page. Some other little um, quilt squares with these really sweet little fabrics. And another floral. And polka dots. I love polka dots. <laughs> Look at the polka dots. Love, love, love. I'm just absolutely in love with these kits, Renee. I can't say it enough. And if I'm annoying y'all with that, sorry. <laughs> but I just really do. I just, I, you know, I love all these, these bits and pieces. Um, and that one's really cool, too. I love these little bitty flower prints. And it's like a... Um, it's cotton, but it's like almost like a linen-y texture. And then a piece of, do y'all remember these calendars? I remember my mom and my grandma used to have these like hanging in the kitchen, but they're really cool. And then um, I pick these up when I find them at my thrift stores too. It's like um, the little napkins, you know, the cloth napkins and the um, placemats and stuff. They work really well as uh, pockets and stuff or covering a binding, and I love that one. I love that red and white. And this is a little piece of that pink, look. So did you stamp on that, Renee? It looks like you stamped on that. That's cute. And a cute little cluster pocket. But y'all, can you believe all this fabric? It's crazy. And that's got fruit and stuff on it. So that's cool. And then this is, this is really nice. This is a, um, this is like a, like a needle point, I think. Look, that'll be really cool. With a little hand stitching down here too. Awesome. And then I love this one too. I love these old, these old wood stoves. They're so cool. So that is the, um, that's the fabric from this one kit. So I got all that fabric. 
I'm just kind of flipping it back over to the little pieces. So all that fabric, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still recovering from this nasty crud. And then the book, and then all of this. And um, what's so cool, she had it in a bigger bag. But what's also cool is she put all this in a 12 by 12 sleeve. So this is even, this is usable too. So everything in here, and so this is a, um, you know, if you've done 12 by 12 scrapbooking, this is a 12 by 12 sleeve. So you can cut this plastic up and use for pockets and stuff too, which I love that. I love that you did that, Renee. That was clever. And then, um, try not to make too much, too much noise, but look at this. So there's this huge pack of paper. There's all these little findings and, and lace, some little, um, some little scrap pieces, which are great for tags and stuff. And then this whole other bag. And again, in this lasting bag, look at this, it's crazy. I can't even set it all right here, it's gonna fall. Um, this lasting bag, which is also I'm usable, especially in these books, because I can just fold this over like this and have a page and a pocket and cut that off. So that's um, good stuff too. And then this Old Farmer's uh, 1973 Almanac, which I thought was really cool. Um, it's kind of falling apart, but but um, she sent the whole Almanac. Almanac. She could have split these things up, but she didn't. It's really, really, these would be really cool for um, collaging or big tags or, you know, just whatever. Just the possibilities are endless, once again, with all this fun stuff that that uh, we like to play with in this junk journaling world. So, it's these little fabric scraps, I won't take those out because this, you know, video will be an hour long. Um... And then I'm not going to go through that whole other kit. I just wanted to show you, you know, um, these kits. And Renee has been so long. I think she had these kits for $35 a piece, y'all. You, you just cannot beat that with a stick. So, um, so there's this, this lace here and this really pretty vintage eyelet lace, which I love. I love the cottony, the cottony little laces like that. And look, look at that little, um, this little sweet one. I am going to take this one off. I really like this one. Well, I like them all, but look at that. Isn't that cute? Just so pretty. Um, everything is just amazing. And then she put like vintage button cards in here, which is awesome. You know, all these, all these are buttons. And another little glassing bag that you can use, that I can use. So, you know, everything is usable. Some some little pieces of ribbon. Love the, you know, I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Um, some embroidery thread. And then, um, we'll go through these other little bits. Then she put some little bits and bobs here. Some uh, paper clips and just little pieces of found things to use. Um, look, she put some green stamps in here, a little, uh, little tickets, some other little, oh, these are, um, these are some fabric, uh, fabric washies, and these look familiar. I wonder if, um, I have a customer who sent me some of these. I wonder if that's the same sweet lady, Renee, that sent those to you. Um, the tag. Just, just a bunch of little goodies in here. Some little uh, reinforcers. These are vintage tickets. So, um, love these. Just fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun stuff. And so much of it. Look at these uh, recipes. And I guarantee you probably some of these came, well, from, could have been some of her family. Or she shops a lot of um, estate sales. And this little um, bits and pieces from old recipe books. 
and I will probably be sharing some of these things here and there um, with my sales because I, there's no way I could use all this. Look at her. Look at that card with the little, with the little chickens. Cute. I love that. And the cow. Um, sour cream potato soup. She gave me some Kool-Aid to dye paper with. <laughs> some Monopoly money. Another little recipe um, card. I told y'all to get a snack. Did y'all get a snack? Some um, really old from those little flyer type recipes. And just more and more stuff, y'all. Um, um, look, love this. This is the vintage, uh, the little vintage flashcards. And it's got farmer. It's got a little farmer on the back. <laughs> love it. I would love to find some of these. I would love to find some. I love those things like that. And then more recipe cards and recipes. And um, because a little cow looks like she cut out from a magazine. I hope I'm in frame for this stuff. I'm going to be upset if I'm not. <laughs> Another flash card. Look, some French fry bags. <laughs> more handwritten recipes. Um, a whole book. Um, I don't know that there's many... Uh, stamps in here but the whole quick saver book and I probably mentioned this before but my mom and I used to do this I used to help her she used to collect those stamps and we would go down to the S&H store and she would get whatever she was working towards getting um, usually it was like a little small appliance or something like that oh she gave me the little I don't know if she meant to put that in there <laughs> in this card thing a little um so she cut that out from a book of a bull. I love these too. This is cool. Another old recipe. Here's what's cooking. And then this little Count Your Blessings book, which I thought was just precious. There's some really cute little um, images in it. And look, look at the um, cover bridge. Anyway, that was really cute. And um, just, just, just more and more and more. So this is Meals Without Meat. It's like the cover. Well, I think there's a couple of pages in here. So she gave me a piece of that. Some of the, um, some of these vintage cards that come in the recipe boxes that I love. Some really cool old index card um, dividers, and I think this was this is probably a page from another one of those little books. Let me just get the whole thing here and slide this over. So another divider. I mean, do y'all think I'll ever be able to use all this? It's so cool, though. I'm going to use a lot of it. Look at that. More recipe cards. The salad book. She sent me the whole book there. And then this is just... Um, beautiful entrance hall. So she pulled this out because it's got the chicken on it. So she, this takes time to do, y'all, to, to put together kits like this, um, to go through your stuff and, and um, you know, pull from all your different places and the variety and thinking about what kind of goes with what. These are really cool. These are the larger. Um, and look, she sent me like, I don't know, like nine of them or seven of them. I can't count. Um, look. Huh? We have a little Valentine. The little fella on there. The time card. And then she sent, um, oh, this is another one of those uh, vintage flash cards. Look with the dishes on it. Some envelopes. More index cards. All these little bags. Look. Love these. 
um, love these little bags. Little popcorn bag. Look, this is a little fresh bake. It's like a little bread bag. A napkin. Another popcorn bag. Look at all that. Another um, recipe. Another envelope. It's just tons, tons of stuff. Tons of awesome, awesomeness. And then there's this. And I don't know where we are on time. So, you know, 20 minutes. Um, but, um, this is just one kit, y'all. <laughs> one. And I bought two. Okay, I'm going to slide this off. So, and then there's all these book pages. And this ledger that I love. Um, I'm so glad she sent me some more of this and these kits because I'm down to, I think, my last piece of, um, I'd gotten some of it from her before. She sent me some in some Happy Mail, and I, I just love it. Love it. And it looks like, I think she tea dyed or coffee dyed this. But, um, look, these are really old recipe book pages, so these will be fun for collage. This is... Sicily. This is from a um, Italian. This is from an Italian cookbook. And this is from another cookbook. And then some really cute old vintage kids kids book pages. From the little farm and the ducks. <laughs> And just, I mean, you get the idea, y'all. Look, isn't that cool? Like, she went through and she picked out those things that looked really country. Renee, how many recipe books do you have, sweetie? <laughs> I think she must have had a, a hundred, um... A hundred recipe books. <laughs> oh, and I am grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm just, it's just awesome. There's just so much fun stuff in here. And look, look at that. I love that image. And then pumpkin pie. Summer. I love anything, anything with those mason jars on it. That's just, and I have some Crocs like that. So just really, really cool. Cool, cool. More fun ledger. Love these two. I just made how to make bread. And look at this, y'all. What how cool is that? This is from a magazine. Hmm. That's old, but that's cool. Check out that refrigerator. And then this is probably from Ideals book, The Sheep. There's another rooster from a magazine. Or art books, you know, farm pictures. Apple pear and time. That's cute. That's gonna go on a book for sure. In the barnyard. <laughs> Excuse me again, y'all. This just goes on and on. This is some vintage wrapping paper. Isn't that cool? Look, the gingerbread boy. I didn't notice this the first time. Look. Oh, my gosh. That was like a big, um... Look, you see his eyes are cut out right there. This is cute. I didn't remember seeing that when I, maybe I went through the other kit. I might not have gone actually all through this. Perfect autumn day. I love these from those ideal books. And then some, um, you know, that space over here, y'all. 
And some random, you know, scrapbook paper and pieces that she finds. Some more like, this is not cardstock. It's like a, um, it's a thinner weight paper, but it looks like she tea dyed some of the colored paper, which is really cool. I love this green. Now this is cardstock that she's tea dyed or coffee dyed. Just, you know, tons and tons and tons of stuff. Some of that, um, love this ledger too. Look at that. Knights of Pythias. I don't know, Patty has sold some of those. And then look at the advertising for the old, um, the old stoves. Cool. And farm equipment. I thought this was so awesome. I need to really start looking around campus. Um, I need to really look closer when I go to our library book sales because, you know, I work um, at a 1890 university, and I don't know, some of you might know what that is, but um, it's an ag, started out as an agricultural-based school, NC State, and um, there's so much really cool. I could probably find so much really cool um, old farming stuff if I really went looking, um, but these are from some really old Magazines, too. Look at that. Just love that blue color. But anyway, okay, so that's one kit. One, one kit. <laughs> and I bought two. I was being greedy. <laughs> but I absolutely love them. Renee, you just rock. Um, I will be busy with this for quite some time. And um, y'all really need to go check out her shop if you haven't. Um, Go subscribe to her channel. Um, I'll put the links in the um, in this video so you can find her if you don't know her already. Um, and she's doing a lot of, of de-stashing right now, so she's putting together some really cool stuff. And um, matter of fact, I think she posted a video today. I don't know if I'll get today's Saturday. I don't know if I'll get this uploaded today because. Um, I got some other stuff going on, but at least the video's done, so hopefully I'll have it uploaded later this evening. But anyway, it's just, I mean, y'all, I gotta put all this back together now. It's just incredible, incredible, incredible kit. Um, I just made a big mess, but anyhow, y'all really need to <laughs> just, oh, awesome, awesome kit, Renee. Um, awesome, awesome kits, and Thank you guys for hanging out and watching. And uh, like I said, go check her out. Um, she's got some really cool stuff. Okay. Y'all have a great day. I would share the other kit, y'all, but look, this video is already almost 30 minutes, so you get the idea, right? <laughs> Anyhow, y'all have a great day. Love you. Be back soon. Bye.